Let's do that. Let's go visit the ferryman's boyfriend. Yeah. Did I do his voice before? Whoa, oh, there's a guy in here. Good day. What's this dude all about? Yeah. Wait, didn't we see him in the bookshop earlier? I think we did. Mysterious old man also patronizes the pawn shop. He steals sidelong glances at Alexander from under his hood. It's ah, the Emperor! Oh alert. no! It's, her it's Herbert. <laughs> Come to the dark side. We mm. have cookies. I got some popsicles in the basement if you want to come on down. <laughs> Good day, sir. <laughs> Alexander, you'll talk to anyone, won't you? You are a desperate man. The old man just glares at Alexander and does not reply. <laughs> oh, just like all my first dates. <laughs> Alright, well, that dude's creeping me out. I'm looking at the bear's crotch. <laughs> Excuse me, merchant, uh, but the ferryman mentioned that you might have a magic map um, to the land of the Green Isles. Why, as a matter of fact, I do. I keep it under the counter. It has been gathering dust so long, I nearly forgot about it. <laughs> okay. I don't know, it seems like something you'd want to know about. It was quite a few years ago, you see. The estate of a wealthy wizard fell into my hands when he died. It was useless magical junk, mostly. Which reminds me, I still got to some of his things in the you back know, that I need to bathroom. throw out. <laughs> in the back room. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, the magic map was one true treasure in the lot. The wizard was quite old and feeble and had enchanted the map to aid in traveling. Okay. It is said that one need only desire to be on an island depicted on the is map to find oneself there. <laughs> yeah, really. It is a very valuable map, as you can imagine. Unfortunately, no one is interested in traveling these days. It is far too dangerous with the current state of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would you take for the map, huh? <laughs> I heard you have a back room. <laughs> <laughs> I know! Well, we don't have any money! What else is he gonna do? I would normally want something magic in return, but since I'm hardly overrun with prospective buyers, I would be willing to take anything of equal value in exchange. Well, what the hell really is equal value this to that? Because this is a pawn shop, which means... It's not so much like a retail store where you give money and give goods in exchange, you know, you can trade stuff here. So obviously he would want something of equal value for anything in the store. You know, for what it's worth. So why is this important? Well, yeah, I, I don't even understand that. I think they just need you know, to say well, something. Well, I think they're, 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 they're trying to get the point across that he doesn't necessarily need cold hard cash in a exchange. But again, it's a pawn shop. They do this shit all the time. He's not gonna have cash on him the whole time, All so right. we're just gonna have to find something like good. Like this. Yeah, yeah I have MC gold ring. How about that, baby? Me, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he's into black people a lot. Would you be willing to take my family ring on in well, exchange for the cat, magic oh. map? I'm sorry, my cat. I mean, it's is probably like, gold, right? So my tower so, yeah. and threatening to pull up my cord. Sorry. Gold prices are at a premium, sir. Devontree, are you a king then? This was my favorite part in Her Crabbiness's and Late Blight's King's Quest VI, because then Her Crabbiness put the crown <laughs> on Alexander's head, and she said, yes. <laughs> I gotta go back and watch that again. Part. Hopefully they're watching. <laughs> oh my god, it was so funny. Okay, now that I've, now that I've totally stolen their thing. Oh uh, no, that's my father, King Graham. I I'm just Alexander. Well, Prince Alex, she is a beautiful ring. Are you sure you can part with such a unique family heirloom? Alex doesn't care. He was separated from them until he was 16 anyway. Oh, the ring does mean a lot to me. Uh, I didn't always have a family, you know. Still, it is only gold. There are more important things at stake now. Now the crown is too the small. The cave just totally froze for a moment. <laughs> oh. oh. Then you now own a magic map, Prince Alex. I will keep your ring out of sight for yeah. a few days. Okay, you do that. If you find anything else of great value in your travels, you can return for your ring. I would hate to see it melted down for the gold. Yeah, no. no. you wouldn't. You're a businessman. You don't give a shit. And a warning about the map. It only operates when you're out in the open and within sight of the sea. The limitation has something to do with the teleport spell ingredient. How did nobody know this? Is there, the like, theme. instructions on the back or something? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he was playing with it when he first got it or something. 
Thank you, uh, you're very kind and, uh, very portly. And I'll remember about the map. By the way, is it what the troop is oh, about Plagras? What is this, what is this dude doing? Oh god, he's gonna, he's gonna feel our butts! Help! Suddenly, the old man in the concealing cloak sneaks past Alexander and, with a sneaky dart of his hand, Oh my god, I knew it! Oh, steals a mint out of the candy jar. Oh, is that what they call it now? Okay, well, I know what it means. Oh man. Yeah. Whoa, is he like drunk or something? The old man stuffs the mint into his mouth and wobbles unsteadily out of the poncho. What? Okay. Uh, do we need to call life alert or something? Holy crap! Uh, everything okay there, dude? Whoa. <laughs> oh, seconds later? What the heck? Seconds later in the castle. Seconds. Yes, because I'm, I'm at home. Am I doing the genie? I think I am, right? Master! I followed Prince Alexander, uh, as you wished, but from the poncho boner he just abstained, uh, reprieved, uh, he got a magic map! <laughs> that just sounds really like the conning just strange. Whoa! You fool! Oh You're my god. You're those mints again! I ordered you to stop that! Oh, what's in those mints? Holy crap. <laughs> yes! This has just become ridiculous. No, this is about a Oh, magic nose. Map. Uh, with the map, Prince Alexander can travel anywhere as, as bickly, uh, quickly as I can. What? Oh, nose! I thought I took care of the online method of travel! By my scimitar, I can't have him stirring things up now! Angry fist in the air! Oh lord. Get what is going on here? Listen carefully, Shamir. Go to the other islands and tell them I have to poop. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Tell them what? He's got a really what? big fart holding on, holding what? in. No! I want to What's know what really they're talking funny is about. If, if, you, if, oh, well. if you don't Thanks. visit the castle first, that conversation is different and a lot funnier. <laughs> Smack! <laughs> yeah, I want one of these things. Can we take a mint? Yeah, really, you got like drunk Let's off eat it. Ooh. Eat it! Can eat we? Eat it! Eat it! Oh my god, it looks <laughs> like a toilet tab. That's just great. It's stale. Ew. Let's take another. You. Sir, your mints are sick. Mm. Yeah, see you later, dude. Bye. Many mints. Uh, bye. I know. We didn't even say anything, we just left. No, we need to leave the screen. Alright, now where are we going? Old man is gone. He's fallen over. You need to go take his daily dose of fiber. Oh, he knows. What? Wait, where, what happened? Did we... He took a dump of the pot! <gasps> Oh, oh! He he dumped a whole bunch of garbage in there. Let's look. Yeah, I know. Alexander, you would just stick your hand in Alexander the garbage, wouldn't you? Alexander sorts through the odds and ends that the poncho owner dumped into the pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's exploding gum wrappers, a shattered crystal ball, a cracked one, a fake thumb. Ew! In the bottom, the Alexander fuck? finds a little glass bottle labeled ink. It appears to be empty, but Alexander decides to take it anyway. You never know when a small bottle may come in handy. Yeah, like if you have to pee. Zelda has taught us that well. Keep bottle. <laughs> Did you say pee in it? What the fuck? You could just pee anywhere. I, I have met people on the like, when I played Mabel Story. need a bottle. <laughs> like doing a, like, a horn teller raid. Like one guy was like, oh my god, I gotta pee in a oh bottle. God. So we just peed in the bottle. <laughs> At the desk. That's gross. I know some World of Warcraft players. Look at the pretty birdie! <laughs> birdie! <gasps> a bird! I knew something was different about this place. A nightingale perches on a high branch of the tree. She sings the most beautiful oh, song shit. Alexander's ever heard. Aww. Aww, I think the it's a birdie. Shut up, cat. Aww. What do we do? Alexander can't reach the bird, and she doesn't seem to be interested in coming to a stranger. Why would she be interested in coming to anyone? She's a bird. Well, we have a bird. What? We have and a birdie. Alexander is not very. Let's use the bird. What? The birdie. That's not gonna work. Yeah. Are you serious? He winds the mechanical nightingale and places it on the ground. That is not gonna work. 
Hey, look at this! Derp. I love how like the legs like twirls around. Right. <laughs> the mechanical nightingale sings a sweet tinny tune. The real She's nightingale like, in the, the tree cocks her head and listens intently. She's probably a probably offended. <laughs> oh, she, she went closer. The nightingale flies to a lower branch and looks at Alexander curiously, as if she She's were deciding that this bird. human might not be so bad. Oh, come on! I know, it's, it, well, it, this mean, is it's the not like, shit you know, ever, she's like a, like a macaw or a minor bird, which are very, very intelligent. It's a nightingale. What the heck? Okay, so what do we do now? Oh, we save. <laughs> right. Nightingale. Oh, hey, look, a bird. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yes. Hurry! Now what do we do? Wait for the game to finish fucking saving. Oh my goodness. So you got its attention. Is Yay. this the bird that the clown was talking about? I'm sorry, that MC Hammer was talking about? Maybe. We can't do anything with her right now, though. Sucks. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? What has happened? That came out of nowhere. That was like a rift in the frickin' temporal time field or something. Holy shit. Ooh, are we gonna try the map? Yes! Smap! Smap! Uh, he pulls out his magic map, that's what she said. Out of his butthole. What the fuck was that? Okay. Alright, what do we got? Isle of the Crown, that's where we are. Yep. Isle of the Beast, Isle of Sacred Mountain, and the Isle of Wonder, which looks like a sperm. Okay, <laughs> where are we going? We are going... this one! Ooh, the Isle of the Sacred Mountain. Ooh, Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. That's what he said. <laughs> I know, right? And then I jizz <laughs> in my pants. What's gonna happen? He's gonna get jizzed on? Get jizzed on, Alexander. Ooh, it glows. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh-oh. Game? Hello? <laughs> okay, we're here. Wow, this is a very interesting wow. place. What is this? Ooh. Appears to be no way past the cliffs. Though roughly hewn, the cliffs do not provide regular handholds for climbing, and they seem otherwise impenetrable. That's, That's what, what he she said. said. <laughs> <laughs> What's that over there? Ooh, an ugly flower. Let's take it. Uh, Alexander seems to be a fan of ugly things, so let's yes. get it. Ooh, Alexander picks the flower and is startled by its hideously strong skunk-like odor. For a moment, he can smell nothing else. Ew. So let's keep it. So now his pants smell like a skunk. Yeah. Good job. Ooh, yeah. Usually large, coal-black feather. Ooh, maybe it's from, like, a big bird? Take it. Feathers are pretty neat. Yes. yes. Alexander takes the feather, which will now smell like skunk, in his <laughs> pants. You, you, you ever notice the, um, the, the, the <laughs> r running reusable puzzles in King's Quest games? Like, King's Quest 2, like, you know, and, and 5 had Graham dealing with the snake. Now, this is the second game in which Alexander picks up a feather. That's true. What, is that writing on the wall or something? What is that? Yeah. What is that right there? There appears to be something blah 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 on the cliff. Blah, 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 writing on the cliff. We don't give a shit about Ignorance it right now. Ignorance kills. Wisdom elevates. Now, that's pretty... That's pretty poignant. Is that all we can do here? Well, this place wasn't yeah. very wonderful, was it? We didn't see anything here for a long time. <laughs> it was very sacred, and now we're leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go leave. Sperm! Uh, do I have what? anything I need here? Um, do you? No, because you didn't... You didn't, um... I mean, you do, but you, but you didn't do something with one of the items that you probably should have done. You can do it right here, though. The ink bottle? I don't think we looked at it. Well, you don't have to use it at first. Oh, but then they won't know what it is. Well, we can show it for the sake of showing it. I do have the yeah, I, 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 I like the cutscene. I think it's cool. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's in this empty bottle. Let's catch a fairy! Well, it's empty, so let's catch a fairy in it. Alexander decides to open the empty ink bottle. Erg! It's, it's stuck! <laughs> it's... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Look at his face! Whoa! And he just jizzed all over himself. Whoa, but you can see through him. Dude! You can see through him. There's a hole in his chest. That jizz was powerful. Why? Uh, the ink bottle isn't empty at all. It's full of invisible ink. But I'm... Ch okay, so now you know what's in the bottle. Not very strong, uh, but not bad. That's what she said. Yeah, I know. Hmm. So now we know what's in there. Cool. Let's look at this little guy. It has eyes. What the heck? 
one of the oysters is sitting up in the bed, and he doesn't look very happy. He seems to be the only one who can't sleep. Aww, the rest of them are sleeping. They're zing. Can we talk to that dude? Can we look at him? Was that a shiny? I just saw. Shiny! Shiny! In the oyster's mouth, Alexander can see a glint of white. Oh, brother, are you serious? <laughs> Boy, they just are asking for it, aren't they? I'm not even gonna do anything with that. Too easy. Ugh, why aren't you asleep like the other oysters? No, I'm so weary, but I can't sleep. I have a terrible ache in my mouth. Really <laughs> That's hurts. what I said the other night. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what do we do? What's so wrong with your mouth? No offense, but it hurts too much to talk. Then shut up and stop talking. No. Thank you, Hercrapness. <laughs> I'm gonna save it again. Wait, right what? Here. Oh, right. What are we gonna, can we get the thing out of his mouth? It's obviously that thing that's causing the problem. I'm just gonna save it as hey, look a bird. Hey, look a bird. My god, this takes friggin' forever to save! <laughs> my DOS box is exactly the same. Oh my god. Well, That's we weird. have a boring book. Maybe we can bore him to sleep. Maybe we can shove it in his mouth so he <laughs> no. up. Oh, your mouth hurts, huh? How about this? Smack him on the head and give him a concussion. If you're having trouble sleeping, huh? Perhaps you'd like me to read to you. Oh, yeah, because you know your hey, voice Alexander is that would be great! Uh-huh. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh, look at him. It's cute. Two dulcimas raised to the degree of uh, forty half dulcimas, um, divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese, uh, put over the result of ten fine mackles, albeit small fine mackles, uh, stretched over the total fifty-three and eighth bottles of wildebeest lard. What? The fuck did I just read? Take it! Take it! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Alexander makes a grab for the pearl. <laughs> did you get it? Yes. You only have three Snap shots that. to do this, by the way, before he falls asleep. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't realize that. Ooh. Hey! You fixed my mouth! It feels great! I... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was he... And then he drowned. And he dies. <laughs> and he died. <laughs> oh, he's asleep. Yay! Yay! And we got a... Can we look at the pearl? Yeah, as soon as my inventory screen freaking loads. Right. Ooh, it looks rather large. Mm. The flawless pearl is the largest Alexander's ever How seen. How many pearls has he seen in his life? Well, he's royalty, probably quite some. 